I mean, anthropology in general is the study of humans and all aspects of human behavior, culture, or artifacts. Um, but then biological anthropology is specifically looking at um, our evolution as a species and um, all of the biological aspects that went into how we became human. So I'm a biological anthropologist interested in the evolution of human and humans and the evolution of our unique, what we call our phenotype, or the way um, our body, our skeleton, and, and other of our, um, our features have evolved. Um, but I'm particularly interested in tying in not only the evolution and the ways our uh, skeletons may have been selected for, uh, but actually figure out how those um, features develop. I've always been interested in answering um, big questions kind of about um, how we got here, how, what was the nature of our evolution, or what are the traits and what was the path that led humans on this really unique path where we have this ability for complex uh, behavior, complex culture, very bizarre and uh, specific adaptations and behaviors, some of the key uh, features that distinguishes us from our close ape relatives is differences in limb proportions that's related to the way uh, we uh, locomote or we either climb in trees or we walk on two legs. Differences in basically body size between males and females might have been related to uh, the evolution of other characters such as the loss of the large canine teeth that are typically found in uh, other primates and particularly in males that's related to um, you know, aggressive behaviors um, and, and contest competition uh, for mates and males but appear to be lost very early in um, human evolution. So I'm really interested in the looking at the, the interaction of the genes and the development to understand how that results in the shape of the skeleton and uh, the evolution of uh, human specific characters. I'm particularly interested in how uh, normal variation in the skeleton is, uh, is patterned and developed. For instance, why certain parts of the skeleton have growth plates, which are important for making bones grow long, versus why other parts of the skeleton uh, don't form those. We live in a time where we actually have the human genome, but also the genomes known of our close uh, ape relatives, and we can actually compare the genomes directly and look for uh, particular uh, cases where maybe the humans have a unique genotype and we can do experiments to try to figure out how those affect development and then how those, that might affect the uh, particular human phenotypes that we have. Humans are unique and bizarre uh, because we have this uh, capacity for advanced uh, culture and, and unique behaviors, but that those, uh, that human uniqueness lies in um, an evolutionary path that uses, that is responding to the same principles that applies to all other animals.